Good evening. Tonight we continue our in-depth look at how school will look for your children in the fall and there's still a lot of unanswered questions. That was very clear today as Franklin County Superintendent responded to concerns from local from the local African American community. As 10 News reporter Coulter Anstad explains, education was a hot topic at an NAACP news conference this afternoon. Good afternoon. Black and white, young and old, around three dozen people gathered at the Pig River Community Center to listen to community leaders speak about topics related to the coronavirus. The event was organized by the Franklin County NAACP chapter. We're just trying to make it known that there is an NAACP chapter in Franklin County. Questions for Franklin County Schools Superintendent, not all of which were related to the virus, however, took up the bulk of the hour-long event. The first question was about recruiting teachers. What plans are, are you guys making to, to go out to HBU? I've personally gone to, um, with our HR director, to historically back black colleges to be able to uh, recruit. When we recruit out of colleges, it's hard to pull someone out of their home environment. Another person wanted to know what punishment someone will receive if they show up to school wearing something with the Confederate battle flag now that the school board has banned the flag. There will be discipline. I can't exactly say that, you know, what the discipline is. Regarding the virus, one man wanted to know what will happen to teachers if they have to stay home because someone in their classroom tested positive. Are they going to be paid? Do you have a, if they don't have enough sick leave? You know, Very that was question, one of the questions that was asked. Question. We have up to two weeks that everyone has to pay for what COVID related um, expenses. Other questions included what is being done to accommodate special needs students and how the district is addressing a concern that students are falling behind since they've had to learn from home while schools are closed. In Franklin County, Coulter Anstat, 10 News, working for you. You can watch the full news conference on our Facebook page.